Hello and welcome to your fifth tutorial on how to create an FPS game. So yeah, let's get started. All right, now what we did in the previous tutorial was um, make uh, finish up the gun so it will work. Now the problem with the gun that we had is that it instantiates it, it creates a lot of game objects th which will cloud up our scene and uh, we don't want that so to solve that problem uh, there's an easy fix what you want to do is we want to take to make the game object put this in the game hide it and then we ev whenever we shoot reset its position to the position we shot at so uh, you'll see how that works later when we add some particle effects but for now, uh, let's just uh, start by fixing the gun. Alright, so first thing we'll need to do is turn this into a type game object. Because we don't want to transform prefab, we want a game object. Right, and now second thing, we want to erase this line. Say sparks dot, we need its transform. So transform dot position. Remember this line. Now we want to set that to the hit excuse me hit dot position dot point. Excuse me. Got mixed up there. And there that's all we need to do. Oh and one more thing I forgot. We need to use the ammo variable. So we minus the ammo whenever it successfully fires a bullet. And then we'll say up here, excuse me that we not only want the button to be pressed but we also want the ammo to be bigger than zero remember very important two ampersands right here so yeah we'll save that and that should be fixed and now uh... the second thing we want to fix is the player because you'll notice if we put the view like this when you play the game and you rotate it rotates the player like that and that looks unrealistic and bad we don't want that so we're gonna fix it with a simple trick right so what we wanna do first is create like an object that will act as our head we want the head to rotate in one direction and the body in another so we'll use the main camera as the head Just name it to camera drag the gun and drop it inside it's now a child of the camera whenever the camera rotates the gun will too and now, second thing we want to do is add the mouse look script to both this and this. But the problem is, we want the player to only rotate on the x axis, so it won't rotate on the y and it will go how we saw before. So, what we'll do is down here in the parameters, we will change this to mouse x only. So, it will only get the mouse x position and will only rotate according to that. Now on the camera we want to add this script too because first we need to add it. So scripts, mouse look, add it to the camera, close it, and now here we want it to have the same X rotation as the player. We don't want it to have a separate one, separate one that it's according to the mouse to look. So we want to set it only to Y. So now uh, we'll see if we test that out. Perfect you can look up and down in all directions it will only move the player whenever we're moving it from side to side not up uh... great you can test that by putting a a cube inside the camera and then seeing it as the head but we won't do that for this tutorial now we also want to test out the shooting so to do that we first have to set the variable because uh, we we just made it to the game object, not a transform, so this won't be eligible anymore. Set it to none, and now we want to drag sparks right onto here. There we go, game object. And we also want to put it inside gun. I think. Well, you'll see how this comes in handy later on. And reset position. So yeah, let's show you something. I know it looks kind of ugly. But yeah. Alright, so you don't want to put in the gun. Let's drag it outside. There we go.
Well, you see, it works perfectly. Oh, and one more thing that we really need to do that messes up our shooting. As you see, it wasn't on the center of the screen because it also relies on the mouse position. So we want to center the mouse and lock it into position. So there are commands for that, and we'll put them in the mouse look script. Script, mouse look. Now notice this isn't C sharp. It's uh, it's in a different uh, language, but it's very similar to to JavaScript. So just copy exactly what I do. Now on start screen dot lock cursor, which is a variable. Set it to true. And now another thing is screen dot think no well yeah we'll start with this but in the next tutorial we'll learn how to freeze it you know not show the cursor so we won't see a mouse at the beginning but let's see how that works ah perfect also did what we wanted to so you'll see it still doesn't work and why is that because we need this screen lock not only on start see void is like function it's a function that doesn't return anything in C sharp and on start a function start means it's only called when the game starts but we want it to call every frame so every frame we call it we want it to freeze the mouse so cursor lock equals true so let's see that There we go. Works beautifully. Now this is probably a bad test because we set it to the fire rate really low fire, really high fire rate. So we want to set it to like 0.1 for example. You see how that works. Great. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any errors or any questions, just uh, post a comment or uh, go on my website, which I'll post a link to in the description. Uh, bye bye.